All right, how's it going? This is uh, how you set up a motorized dish. So first of all, you need a good bracket and you need to make sure it's anchored very, very tightly to the wall. <clears throat> Next, you gotta make sure this is perfectly vertical. And then your bracket system, make sure that's pointing exactly south, 180 degrees. You can use an app on your phone called um, called True Compass and that will give you your location GPS location and it will also give you your, your um, magnetic position but when you're using it make sure you calibrate your compass on your phone you know by doing the figure of eight a few times and the other thing is you need to Make sure that you keep the phone away from the dish itself because you'll notice that the dish itself can affect the reading of the compass. <clears throat> so I find um, you just have to play about with it until you get a nice steady reading. Have a rough idea where the south is in the first place. And then I put my phone just along here and it usually gives me a steady enough reading. So once you've got this part south you can cinch that up and you get on the true compass it will say uh, what latitude and longitude it is. So look for your latitude and I'm in the UK so I'm at position 54 so just get it as close to 54 as you can possibly get it. Then you want to um, make sure these are just hand tight, okay? And I already have the cables in my LMB and it's already skewed. If, it, if you haven't got the skew on it already, as in what angle the, the LMB is at, then um, you're going to have to do that. That's the tricky bit because it's it's quite a long reach so make sure you're wearing a harness when you're doing this so your motor should be at zero degrees it says under here it says here at zero degrees and yeah <clears throat> it's well labeled underneath it says uh, cable to the LMB cable to the receiver this this button here should light up green and beside it here you've got a reset button but anyway this this cable here goes is my feed to my LMB so this one here is this one here is my feed to the LMB so it goes down here and back round and through there and the other cables that are attached to the LMB, they're actually just going straight down into the house. This one is the one that says receiver on it, and that's what gives the signal to the motor. So put that in tuner A of your receiver. Okay and these other cables they can go into tuner b c and d if you have more than two or you can put them into another box okay so you can um, push this button to manually move this motor if you want you hit it once for east and twice for west I think okay I'm now going to show you how to set this up on the STB um, before you do your final position on the dish I've not seen anybody else on YouTube show you this so pay attention okay I'm using a VU um, Solo 2 on OpenVix um, but any Enigma 2 box is pretty much the same whether that be a Zemo or, or whatever you're using Technomate um, so press your menu, get into your main menu, 
and go into the setup, go into your tuners, and you want to go into tuners, and you should see your uh, however many tuners you have. I have three, so <coughs> tuner B is just um, set to the second tuner of the motorized LMB. I recommend you do that. Press green to save it. Now tuner A is where where you got to get your uh, True Compass app for your position because you want to set your configuration mode to simple. Your positioner, choose the one that says selecting satellites, go underneath, press OK, and then you can choose what satellites you want. Now to start with, if you're watching this in the UK, I recommend you just begin by selecting 28.2 only. Save that, get that set up, and then you can come back and add more when you've got the thing sorted. So using your um, True Compass app, look for the longitudinal altitude. Now if it says minus whatever figure it is, um, you can't put minus in, but don't worry, just put the numbers in. Put the, um, it would probably be west, and put your latitude in, north. Go to extra motor options, and if you don't have the spec sheet for your motor, um, you can probably look it up online. Mine's a Techno Mate, and I've set my turning speed to 1.9, and step size just leave that as is max memory positions it's not really relevant but just um just bring that down to 60 because that's the maximum that the motor can handle and forced legacy stats you can probably turn that off so save that and <clears throat> Then you exit out of that and then you go down to your positioner setup and it'll say tune and focus and movement, fine movement, set limits. Go to set limits and press the red button to turn them off. Memory usuals is a waste of time it doesn't actually do anything from what i can gather um, but here we go to where it says go to you can press the green button to go to the zero position where the dish should be at the minute if it's not you can you know the motor should be at the zero degrees um, pointing exactly south right now but that's not of much use to you to get um, a TV signal. So what you need to do is the go to X is where you fill in the number and we're going to put in 28.2, just using your digits on your um, remote. 28.2 East, yes. Okay. And then you can press the uh, yellow button and it will go to that position. Okay. And when it goes to that position, you should see it starts to move, right? And don't expect to get a signal here because you haven't fine-tuned it on the on the pole. Alright, so what you want is to see this SNR um, up to 100 percent Now hopefully you've got a signal meter. Um, if you don't, you're gonna have to take a TV outside or use a friend to shout when you've got the um, dish lined up all right so just leave it like that hopefully the motor has sent the signal so hopefully the box has sent the signal to the motor to turn it to 28 degrees all you have to do is on your uh, meter you tune it into say BBC one channel 4 or whatever you want and turn the dish um, on the bracket of the motor pole 
not the other pole, not the the one that's on the wall, but the pole that's on the, the end of the motor. You just turn that um, till you get a good signal, and then you obviously tilt up and down the dish till you, you get better signal, and you adjust the skew of your LMB if, if you need to. So once you've got that done, and you come back in here, and you should be getting, um, if you have 28.2 already installed you know, on your channels, then you should be getting a picture. But you can go to your auto bouquet maker, go to your providers, select um, Sky UK or Freesat UK, um, turn the Freesat channels on. And you should start to, um, once you do the scan, you should pick up the new channels and you should be good to go. So once you've done that, and you can um, go back up to your tuner and select more satellites in here, say 19 East. And go back to Auto Bouquet Maker, go to Providers, Select the extra providers, wherever, whatever you want, canal sat for the French stuff or what have you. Do another scan, test that out. You should be good. Um, so the biggest problem you might have is getting the, uh, the dish lined up properly. So you're going to want to test this out going back and forth between um, different satellites. Um, it's really, really important that um, your pole attached to the wall is completely vertical. And you've started, you've started off um, pointing south. It's got to be exactly south. Um, because that's the uh, reference point for your box and if you want to get really fancy you can get a thing called a dissect switch and you can um, add a fixed dish like your normal sky satellite or freeview satellite and you can have one just pointing at um, 28.2 for the UK and you can have your motorized dish pointing at your European um, European satellites that can um, move about and stuff. So hopefully that's been helpful. I haven't seen um, any videos on this on YouTube um, that goes into the details for this. Um, the the uh, thing for the Enigma 2 positioner setup is absolutely appalling in my view. Like it doesn't really explain much but the uh, calculate feature basically just resets all your your things um, and there is actually I found that um, there's no way of properly saving this I got it to calibrate once and it, um, it kind of saved and it said that it was um, offset by a couple of degrees I thought, oh, brilliant, but I was never able to uh, get it to do that again. So um, here, if you want to search, you know, um, where your proper signal is, you can use the movement. And actually, if you get it kind of 50% there, uh, you can just press the green button to autofocus instead of having to go to the fine, fine movement. But 